Oh, I need, I'm probably gonna need the tag on. So, yo, are they gonna connect to mine? Yeah, see, they're gonna come in here and we go. No, I'm talking about, um, what's the name? What's happening? Give me one second, y'all. We about to get this thing cracking. I want to thank y'all for joining your man Nelly right now. It's official. I have officially taken over Sports Center's IG page. Um, IG Live, I should say. We're here to talk about the long gone summer. As y'all know, I'm your man Nelly, one of St. Louis' finest. And when it comes to this baseball thing, you know, probably isn't a bigger entertainer, bigger fan than myself. So, um... Been riding with the Cardinals as long as I can remember. My mom took me to my first Cardinal game, and I think that was it. You know, we used to sit in the bleacher seats. That's all she could have up, but I thought it was like, hell, sitting right up front to me. So that was my thing. So we're going to have a little fun today. We're going to talk. I'm going to bring on my man, uh, a few special guests here and there to try to get this thing cracking. And um, we're going to have some fun. We're going to talk about the long gone summer. All right? So, yo, if y'all could give me one second. Be right back. We're going to let this thing load up. And we're going to get it cracking. Look, we in here. Hold on. What's up? So, if we got any Cardinal fans in the building right now, if you can give me a go cards. If we got any Cubs fans in the building, boo, but it's okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's okay. We're in the building. We're here to talk about um, the long gone summer. Of course, Big Mac, Mark McGuire, Say It Ain't So, Sammy Sosa. You know what I mean? And, um, and the history that they made in 1998. And everything that was going on um, with chicks digging the long ball. You know what that means? <laughs> of course. So, Blue Jays, Tigers. We need some go Cardinals. I know we got some Cardinal fans out there right now that's holding it down. We need to see some more Cardinal fans. What's up with that Yankees? Yankees? Yankees all right. Yankees all right. I mean, they ain't no Cardinals, but. Right? Um, as y'all know, growing up in St. Louis, uh, sports has always been my thing. I think, um, <clears throat> grew up, I was playing, playing a lot of sports, football, basketball, but baseball was probably the one that I was probably the best at. Uh, I used to play St. Louis Amateur Baseball Association. They, they call it Slobber here. And um, I actually won the MVP in the, in the All-Star game in 90, 94. No, 90. Yeah, 93. No, 93. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to get my age out like that, but it's all right. In 1993, I was fortunate enough to win that. And um, before then, I just started, you know, getting off into this. I mean, after that, I just started getting off more into the music thing. But growing up here in St. Louis, you can't help but be a Cardinals fan. Uh, we didn't have too many sports. We had the uh, football Cardinals at one time, then they left. And we wound up getting the Rams and the greatest show on turf. But beyond that, and go Blues, got to say that. But beyond that, St. Louis is a Cardinal town. A lot of y'all may know that. So, you know, batter up, no doubt. All right. <laughs> uh, St. Louis, Cardinals are very important to St. Louis. Um, shout out to the DeWitt family. Shout out to my homeboy, Bill DeWitt. Shout out to Ira and the whole DeWitt family. They always take care of me every time I come down to the stadium and come to the game. So uh, got to make sure we send love out to that. Um, my homeboy, Yachty. 
all of the Cardinals um, is doing their thing. So we're going to make sure that today we have a little fun. If there's any questions that you guys want to throw out, make sure you throw them out at me. I'm going to try to get to them as much as possible. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm going to try to see them. It's a lot of them moving kind of fast. So we're going to make sure that, um, that we can follow along as much as possible. Um, now, long gone summer. 1998. It's a bittersweet time in St. Louis. I mean, our team overall, we didn't do as well as we would hope. But what Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa was able to do was amazing. It, 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 like, it felt like we were in the World Series every game because, I mean, you just paid attention to every game. Um, you followed along. You were checking the paper at that time. This was before you could just Google everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just pull up the internet. You had to actually check the paper if you didn't watch the game last night or watch Sports Center, uh, watch the news for sports. Do anybody really watch the news for sports anymore? I don't think so. Huh? No, nah. Sports Center, y'all just didn't took it over. Oh well. You know, checking Sports Center every day to make sure uh, to see what happened. And St. Louis and Chicago, it's a real deep rivalry when it's come to sports, uh, hockey, football, baseball, whatever it is, St. Louis and Chicago, we go at it, and we go at it hard. That's like our World Series. So if neither one of us is making it in the playoffs, as long as we beat the other, <laughs> as long as we beat the other, it's almost like a college rivalry, if you would say, almost like Michigan, Ohio State, or... You know what I mean? Uh, USC and uh, UCLA, things of that nature. You know, it's, it's, it's that type of rivalry. Duke and North Carolina, that's St. Louis and Chicago when it comes to sports. And for the most part, um, I mean, when it comes to baseball, considering we have the second most rings in baseball, I don't see how it's much of a rivalry when it comes to Chicago baseball, but it's okay. It's all right. They try hard. They do. They they try really hard. Way to go. <laughs> I know I'm going to be getting some calls from my homies up in the shop, but it's cool. Um, but again, what was happening in 98 was so magical. It was, it was, for me, it was probably the most exciting time in baseball other than when we won our rings in, um, I think it was like 06 and 2011. But before that, this was definitely... Uh, one of the one of the best seasons that I can think of other than the early 80s when I was very young but I can remember my mom taking me to the games and those early teams with Ozzie Smith uh, Terry Pendleton Willie McGee you know what I'm saying Tommy Herr Jack Clark uh, we can go on and on Andy Van Slyke you know, and then we moved on to the 90s teams with my man Brian Jordan, Ray Langford, um, and then the late 90s with the homeboys, Mark McGuire and everything to that nature. But um, the rivalry with Chicago, I think that was the, in 98, I think that's when it basically came to a head because it's hard to have a rivalry with somebody who, who you know, who don't win. <laughs> You don't win, you know what I mean? So I tell you what we want to do. Hey, we need to bring in my homie Said the Entertainer. One of St. Louis finest. Y'all, I want to bring my man in. Yo, Said, where you at, baby? I told y'all we had some special guests coming on. Uh, I need to bring my homeboy in, Said. Yo, I think they were calling you. Y'all got to hold on. This is not my live. So this is Sports Center's live. So I know they all work the same. It says, some uh, request uh, to be in your live. No, that's not said. I don't know who that is. We got to find Cedric. Seti Bear. We got to go to the neighborhood. We got to get in the neighborhood, Said. Where you at? I got to bring you in. Oh, there he is. Okay. Hi from live. Go. Yo, oh! what's going on, man? Yeah, 
Dog, what up, Dog? <laughs> How you doing, OG? I didn't even know. We, we really putting on right now. I didn't even know it was like that. I was just sitting up chilling at the crib today. Oh, what? Yeah, you yeah, yeah. St. Louis. Yeah, yeah. Same to you. I see you right there. Oh, man. It's good what to up, see you. Bro? What's you going out? on, how, man? How, how you behaving out here during these times, the pandemic and everything? Yeah, I'm just letting it go. I'm just letting it go, man. I'm just being grown yeah. with it, man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, yeah. no, I ain't yeah, got I no Beijing. It. No Beijing going, ain't no Beijing. Going nothing. Just let it happen. <laughs> they say all the stores are out right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, they feel like some about to jump back off the bros going back in, ready to get it, get back. Ladies and they gentlemen, <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Cedric the Entertainer, one of the original kings of comedy, one of St. Louis finest, and my oh, big man. brother. I gotta say that we gonna throw yeah. that out there. Um, yo, first off, I always um want to say thank you i always say that to you when i when i when i see you because you know you were one of the first ones that believed in me and my first project you hopped on my first project and you made it legendary yeah. not just for, not just for me but for the rest of my family the rest of the saint lunatics and you put on for saint louis and i always tell you thank you because i mean that and um you know you my inspiration big bro and you keep yeah. us going so you know love one of the original kings of comedy in the building yeah yeah man on the neighborhood Thank you, man. No, that's dope. And that, that that's dope. I always tell that story because this one of those those y'all a great example of, of that uh that ideology of when uh you know somebody seemed like they're trying to break up the group. And I remember like everybody was like because they wanted to sign you first without the lunatics, and you know, and it was yeah. this whole thing where everybody thought it was good. And I remember talking to the guys like, hey man. Like Nelly, he got y'all. Like that's the way it's gonna be. Sometime, I mean, you gotta admit that you, you, right. you know, you a star. You always been a star. But some of these things just got to be true to people, man. Like that's you know, true. even when you be in your own group, you gotta recognize like this dude the star, man. So Michael Jackson was gonna lead Tito wow. them one day. I mean, not not saying like there's a brother, <laughs> <laughs> but not as a brother, but he definitely was gonna get a better party yeah, at the crazy. crib. <laughs> Yo, crazy, bro. Yo, thank yeah, you man, man. so much coming from you, man. And again, yo, I, I, I really would say that even though you do comedy and we do music, we probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your inspiration, though, bro. You know, we don't get a lot of us that come from this city and get a chance to make it on that level, um, yeah. on the level across the board of being at the top of what we do. And like I said, again, you being an original Kings of Comedy and we being able to do what we did in music, um, I think it's just inspiration for the city. No, that's so, real, man. You were talking about that earlier because St. Louis was definitely one of them kind of cities where it was people like, you know, we had people that like kind of like made different stardom, but we knew the athletes as the big people in our town exactly. before before like me and you came along. I mean, of course, you know, you had like Angela Wimbush. And you can name off Phil Perry. Right. You can name off a lot of people that had like little pops, but – when that real like big fame before me and you for sure, it was the athletes. It was that's who we knew in yeah. our town as the people that was out there getting down. So you know, we we definitely had yeah. a lot of love for the, for all of the athletes that should be through the city in St. Louis. That was our they was our guys. You know, I was sitting. Yeah, there, yeah, hey, yeah I, they I, had all the girls. I, yeah, I'll just gonna say that I was sitting there talking to. I played golf with Dave Justice. <laughs> David Justice. He was talking about the Adams Mark downtown, like where the baseball oh, fields used to stay. And they had that little club in the Adams Park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, and well, we knew. Yeah, the, man. We knew, Yo, so we're we here to talk about the 98 yeah. season. All right. We're here to talk about the 98 season, long gone. Yeah. Uh, long gone summer, which uh, Big Mac, Mark McGuire. Yeah, Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa. Uh, and the record – and the record-breaking season that they had, magical season that they had with uh, yeah. Mark McGuire breaking the record and Sammy following right behind them and both of them chasing. Do you remember anything about that season that kind of stood out a little bit to you personally? I mean, you know what well, I mean? Because, again, 98, you were already doing what you were doing. I wasn't doing yeah, it, but I know you were, you were basically a stride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was pretty much a stride right then. And, you know, just doing that year, of course – uh, you know, we had to, you know, St. Louis was always been a big baseball town. So that was one of the situations where, you know, when Mark, Mark McGuire was getting down, the team was popping the homework and the home runs. It was just a big time for baseball and it was bringing a lot of attention to the city. So for me to say I was from St. Louis gave it a lot more rep bigger stuff for black people because baseball was
hold to. But St. Louis is did. So for me to represent that, it think it, I think it just brought a lot more attention to the game, the rest of the people on the team, you know, people like Ray and all those folks, you know, that was like a, that was, yeah. that was like an exciting time over there, you know. Ray, Ray Lake was a little young for that yeah. team, though. Was he on that team? He might not be on that team. Yeah, he might not. Was Ray Lake put on that team? Ray, Ray was on. Ray, I think yeah. Ray was on that team. Uh, you know, we yeah. had Ray. Brian Jordan was on that team. Brian Jordan uh, was Ray. DJ. Yeah, B, yeah, DJ, yeah, 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 yeah. So. Uh, but I remember going bad, to like I, also the, um, going to Chicago. I mean, you had to go to Chicago yeah. for that too. Like being in another city where you had to be putting on right there. We had to rev hard though. That's all I remember. Was like had to pull up in Chicago. These red hats be everywhere. They like yo, yeah, y'all out yo, of control. It's the, same, it's the same way. And I know our our, our matches with uh, every time we play against Chicago. Like, even if it's here, we got so many people come down from the shot. Like, downtown be filled with filled with Chicago Cub fans, which is real crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, speaking I'll try of Chicago, tell somebody, I, I, I'll try I tell like somebody like for, in Chicago. Uh, it's one of the best. It's, one of the, it's truly one of the best co comedy towns in the world, I feel. Like, that's why so many people do their specials there. You think about all the comedians that came out of there, legendaries, Bernie Mac, of course, uh, late Robin Harris, but, you know, Damon Williams, oh, wow. along, George Wilborn, Tony Schofield, I, I just name uh, Dale Gibbons, just legends out of there. D-Ray, all the young dudes, D-Ray and Hannibal and, and Lil Rail, all these little right. young guys, man, they put on, man. So it was one of those cities that we used to go, and you knew that if you can rock a Chicago audience, then you 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 pretty much right. can do the world. So that was like uh, that was one of them cities. I was telling people all the time, like for us, that was our Vegas. Like if you live in LA, you know that quick little four right. hour trip, well, uh, a one hour flight to go kick it. For people in the loop, we yeah. going to Chicago. Like we got the weekend off, we going to Chicago. We going to turn up. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be this. That was it. I try to I try to explain our relationship to people with Chicago. It's like it's like you know that. That cousin, that rival cousin that you go to the family reunion, y'all family, but you always, you know, y'all family when y'all everywhere else, but at the family reunion, y'all going against yeah. each other and everything. Yeah. Because uh, we love to kick it. I, I never forget, like, one of the first times we went to Cancun, Mexico, and I was, we were just putting out country grammar. And it was us, and we ran into, like, 20 or 30 brothers from Chicago. And we was all, like, family. While we was out, yeah. while we was out the town. You know what I mean? And yeah, yeah, for sure. I wind up seeing them, and then I wind up getting uh, getting to know them and seeing them when I went up to Chicago, and they had Cubs hats on, and we was instant rivals. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, so, yeah, flat out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, that, that's it. So, um, let let me ask you this: uh, Did you go to any of the games in ninety? Did you get a chance to go to any of the games in ninety eight? I never got a chance to get to none of the games in 98. I think I, I think uh, we to was touring up close. I think we was touring, touring hard yeah. to, during that time, and I didn't get a chance to go none of the games then. You know, I think it was a game where uh, Sammy Sosa. You know, I think I was in the city when when Sammy Sosa actually went over one of the first records or whatever, and I just re I remember right. it was bu bubbling. So who got it first? Did, did Mark go first or Sammy? Right. It was. It was. It was uh, a, I know. I think like Mark actually. Mark. I think Mark broke the record. I think Sammy might have hit sixty first, maybe. But yeah, I think, it, it was. Uh, so I, I, I think Mark actually broke the record. I think actually first. I and remember then, I was uh, in Chicago. I was in Chicago when right. Sammy broke. It, it was some milestone at that time, and I just remember the city being super extra lit, and me having right. Because he just had broke something, and it was like, ain't nobody gonna keep up with that. And he, he, y'all done, you know. I was like, nah, bro, nah. No. Oh, they, nah, they, 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 they was going hard. They was yeah, going hard. hard. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it ain't over. It ain't over. And Big Mac, and you know that old saying, chicks dig the long ball. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I kind of miss that, 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 that era and that energy uh, of baseball a little bit more. I know the game has changed, and 
Uh, yeah. The good and the bad of that, the, the good and the bad of that was that the whole, I guess the whole steroid thing that came out after that, and it kind of yeah. it kind of dampened uh, a little bit of what was going on. But I mean, to be honest, I'm I'm just gonna be honest. I mean, you know, I played baseball for a long time, and I played on a uh, on a high enough level that I played with a lot of people. Um, I was in a couple of camps with Ryan Howard. You know, Ryan Howard used to be yep, the first baseman yep. for the Phillies. Um, yep. Me and him, me and him was in a few uh, tryout camps here in St. Louis together, and and. We could always tell the the, the people that was kind of taking performance enhancements. You know, you kind of looking at him like he knows oh, yeah. he come out with his mama looking like that. Oh you know yeah, I mean? for sure, <laughs> like, for sure. But but I mean, you know, I guess it just was what it was. But I guess well, you know you got to do what you need to do to clean up the game. But again, but then when you think awesome about go ahead, you think about it coming off a strike. You know, it was a lot right. of things that they needed to do to get fans back to exactly. the game. And though you don't really, you know, you want to put an asterisk on uh, the steroid years or whatever, but, it, you know, like you say, for any sport, pitching and home right. runs is why you go. Like, you want to see strikeouts and you want to see home runs. Exactly. And so the pitchers, was, they had just the same chance. You they talk was about Rodgers. You was talk about Clemens, they was throwing. They was throwing. Come on, man. Yep. So yep. I mean – so you know you're right, like it, the, the the core of it. But it was all about it was all about getting people's interest back in the game. And so like for one level, I go like, yeah, I get like it feel like you know people on them they on you know they on the uh, the steroid of it all. But you think that you still got to have hand eye coordination. You still got to be able to contact the ball at a certain time. It's still a skill set that's required there. I ain't gonna, you know, Definitely justify does. it all, but you know. No, 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 no. It, I don't think you justify it. I mean, you stating facts. I mean, I don't, I don't. Yeah. As many people that was was on it, it was way more people that was on it that didn't make it, and that's what a lot of people have to know too. Like, um, yeah. I don't care what you do. If you can't hit the ball, you can't hit the ball. It don't. Right. It don't matter. Yeah, there's somebody, right. somebody who used steroids and it, and it, it don't work for them, though, man. They just sit around big. They hit. <laughs> <laughs> they, they sit up it just big for nothing. Yeah, man. They look thing and shrunk up everything, man. You can't even, man. You can't even hit. <laughs> like, get off the steroid, boy. Get back hey. to your normal self. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on over here and work the door of this club for us. Big. Yeah, big. You know, just man. big for nothing, man. Get the. Yeah. No, definitely, yeah. man. I know. Uh, I know we about to lead up. We got about five more minutes before uh, they start the long gone on ESPN on um, the thirty for thirty, the long gone yeah. summer. I want to thank you for uh, kicking it with me, my brother. Yeah, man. And uh, you know, it's love. We got to connect. Yeah, also. man. I see. Let's you. do it, man. No doubt. Always <laughs> great seeing you. Whatever we do. And as yes, always, love. We always check in with people. Like, that's the one thing that people, you know, ask each and every. You, you holler at Nelly. I mean, yeah, man. We check in on each other, man. It's it's a very real yes, St. Louis thing, man. So that's one hundred, though, yeah. bro. I'm gonna tell everybody, get ready for the Sad and Nelly podcast show coming soon, Galoo. Yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, I like it. I like. It. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, man, bro. So, yo, uh, talk to you in a minute. I'm gonna let them go because I know they got to get this thing going on, my brother. Yeah. You got yo, you got anything that you want to shout out before we before we head up? Besides the greatest uh, show on television, the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we coming back for a third season. Excited about it. We'll be back after you know the COVID calm down. Everybody start shooting again. I am gonna shoot some more of those specials that I did. The greatest home. Right. Uh, I'll do coming this summer. Just think like that, but uh, and y'all check me out. Check me out on. Hey. Nope, bro. Got okay, y'all. I appreciate you, OG. I, I Make sure holla. y'all uh, check out said, and um, we keep. I holla. I holla. Yeah. yeah. B. So yo, y'all, y'all. Make sure y'all go check out. It's about to come on right now. The long gone summer. And my big brother, Cedric the Entertainer, taking over, 
taking over that live. Y'all make sure y'all line up right now. Get your popcorn ready. Whatever it is you're drinking, whatever it is that makes you feel like you're in a ballpark right now. I know we don't have baseball. I can't wait till it comes back and we get this thing cracking. But it's the long gone summer featuring Big Mac, Mark McGuire, and Say It Ain't So, Sammy Sosa. All my family in Chi-Town. Yo, I love you. Y'all keep it up, but y'all steal some bums. The Cubs are bums. Bums! It's a long gone summer. It's your man Nelly. Go Cards! Yeah, we did that. Yeah, that was good. I just said we need our own podcast. Man, we, need our own show. we definitely should do a podcast. Man, we need our own show, Sam. Yeah, man, you. Sam.